Now, I just got back from Northern Ontario. I was uh, actually deer hunting. I saw seven moose, one deer, I never took a shot. <laughs> I also got in a little bit of rock hounding. Uh, one of the things I got was banded iron formation, or BIF. And here's a classic, also known as taconite. It's a sedimentary rock. It's a form of actually a fossil because it was created by living organisms. See that? It's got alternating layers. This is mined for the iron content. And iron oxide, which is either hematite, which is the dark stuff, hematite or magnetite, and then the red in this rock is a jasper. And what I want to do is cut it up for my 12 pound rock tumbler and show a before and after video. The place that I was at, these rocks are two and a half billion years old. The theory is there was no oxygen and when that occurred we had the, uh, the red formation. Then there were bacteria that created oxygen and they did it for a period of time, created too much oxygen and then died off in which case we had another layer of the, the red showing. But the, the iron oxides, because iron doesn't dissolve in water, with the oxygen, fell out to the ocean floor and created one layer. And then over time, we had just alternating uh, layers, which compacted and formed this sedimentary rock. Let's cut up some and get them tumbling. So here's my big bucket of rocks. See, they all have the distinctive layers of iron and jasper. There's quite a nice one showing off the magnetite. See how sparkly it is? Magnetite or hematite? If it's a magnetite, the magnet will stick to it. So something like that, what I want to do for the tumbler is cut it. And uh, get some, a variety of shapes, different size pieces and then stick it into the big old barrel. There's my barrel, 12 pound barrel. Now the one thing with these kind of rocks is because of the iron, they're really heavy. And so I'll have to be careful how much I put in the tumbler so I don't ruin the motor or break a belt. Other than that, this is easy stuff to tumble and it comes out polished just beautifully. So one of the things when I was picking rocks was one to find things with good contrast or something unique like an X in it. And I went for a lot of times smaller pieces because those can just go directly into the tumbler. See that? Just directly. Beautiful. That one, I think I'll cut. So all I'm using is a cheap towel saw. It does a pretty good job, I'll show you. So this rock, I'll just show you, has some unique shape to it. I'm wondering if I cut it this way, if I can't make just a few hearts. Let's try it. Show you how we can shape with the uh, towel cut. Gonna leave it with kind of a natural look. Let's polish that bad boy up and see if it still looks like a heart when we're done. Do one more cut and then we'll, we'll show you all the rocks when they've been cut and shaped. So 
So one thing I'm going to do, which is probably a wrong thing to show for anyone that wants to tumble, is I'm going to drop a larger rock into there and tumble that with the others. It may interfere with the tumbling of the other rocks, and if I find that is the case after you know a few days of going round and round, I'll pull it out. Otherwise, I think I'd really like to have one larger rock that is tumbled or polished. So, let's get it going. And this will probably take, I'm thinking, a couple of weeks. But we'll see. Okay, so step one is just the coarse tumbling poly 6090 grit. And it's a silicon carbide. And we'll get it rocking and a rolling.